Welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In our previous video, we have seen the introduction about dictionaries and how we can able to create the dictionaries. So in this video, we will be knowing how we can access the elements from the dictionaries. So in our previous video, we have understood that dictionaries are represented using key value pairs, right? So just take an example on how we can access the keys and values of the dictionary. So let us go ahead and take one example and later we will access the keys and values from the dictionaries. So let's say I will take a dictionary example. Let's say I will consider, let's say details here. So consider this particular details is one of the dictionary. So in this dictionary, I will be having, let's say name here. So name is a key and I will consider the value for this name is Mahesh here. So I am taking a key which is name and the value which is uh, Mahesh. So after that, I will be taking one more key here. So we can create this dictionary in the single line like this or we can create the dictionary by separating comma and go to new line. So like this also we can able to create the dictionary. So let's say I will take one more key which is nothing but age here. So I will be mentioning value for age which is 22. So after that, I will take one more key, which is nothing but let's say gender here. So the value I will be taking for gender, which is male here. So like this, we can able to create this particular dictionary using keys and value pairs. So the single quotes and double quotes doesn't matter. Both are representing uh, string itself, right? So I hope you can able to understand this dictionary. So if I execute this, we can able to get this dictionary. I will just print this details dictionary so that you can able to see in the output. So we are getting the dictionary with the name, age and gender as keys and Mahesh 22 male as values. So by so we have seen dictionaries are unordered collections, right? So by using indexing, we generally used indexing in order to access the elements from our previous collection, which might be list, tuple or set. So set is not, so list, tuple or string. So in this case, dictionaries cannot be accessed using indexing. So dictionaries values can be only accessed using keys. So for this value, which is Mahesh, the key is nothing but name right so for this value which is 22 the key is age right so for this value male the key is gender so by using these keys age gender and name we can able to access the values which is mahesh 22 and male so let us go ahead and see how we can access these values by using keys so one of the way that we can use which is nothing but using this indexing method so though we have representing this index method so we don't pass the index numbers rather we pass the keys as the index so let's see how we can access them so we need to represent we need to mention that uh, whatever the dictionary element that we wanted to access here in this case our dictionary name which is nothing but details right so here i we need to mention this uh, index operation so instead of this we cannot mention any numbers rather we need to mention the key sometimes we can have the numbers as keys but in this case we are only having three keys which is name age gender right so let's say if i wanted to access the mahesh key by using name only we can able to access so here in this details i am mentioning name here so if i print the result here so i am taking a print so we are taking this particular dictionary and we are accessing the name key here so as we have mentioned a name and if i execute this we can able to see we are getting the value which is nothing but mahesh so like this by mentioning the keys in the index we can able to access the value so i hope you can able to see this so let's say if i want to access let's say this 22 let's say if i wanted to access the age so in such case first we need to mention the details which is the dictionary name after that we need to mention the key here so here in this case i am mentioning age here so i wanted to know what is the age and if i execute this we can able to see we are getting the age which is nothing but 22 which is the value that we have for the age so i hope you can able to understand let's say if i wanted to access gender we can mention the gender and access the gender right so i am taking this dictionary and here i will be mentioning gender here so if i execute this 
we can able to get the result which is nothing but male here so like this by mentioning the keys in the index operator we can able to access the values so i hope you can able to understand let's say sometimes we might have the keys which are integer values in those case also it will work exactly fine so let's say i am taking one more dictionary which is nothing but numbers so in this dictionary i will consider let's say one and the value which is nothing but 10 and 2 the value is which is nothing but 20 here so let's say so i will execute this first so after that let's say if i wanted to access the value 10 what we need to do we need to mention numbers which is nothing but dictionary name and we need to mention the key so here in this case it is not considered as an index rather it is considered as key right so now if i execute this we can able to get the value 10 by using this in by using this key which is 1 so let's say if i wanted to access 20 what we need to do we need to mention the key which is nothing but 2 here if i execute this we can able to get the result which is 20 by mentioning the key 2 here so i hope you can able to understand here in this case we are not considering this as indexes rather these are considered as keys right so you can have integer values as a keys and you can have string values as a keys you can have tuple values as a keys so that we have clearly understood in our previous video right so let's say here in this case i will take this same example here let's say if i wanted to access details and there is one key which is not having in this uh, dictionary if i wanted to access the value the key is not present so what i mean is that let's say in this dictionary we don't have any key value pair for city right so we don't found any key which is representing the city so but still if i mention city here so in this index operator i am mentioning city here so i don't know what keys we have in the dictionary but still i am assuming there is something which is city and the city is having the city name so by having that assumption if i execute this we are getting the error which is key error saying this particular city so you can understand this error as the city is does not present in the dictionary that is the reason we are getting this key error so like this we will be getting error whenever we wanted to access any key that is not present in the dictionary so in such case if we don't want to get this kind of an error in such case we will be using a specific method that is used to access the elements which is nothing but get here so this works exactly as index operator but there is a difference so the only difference that we have which is nothing but whenever we are mentioning any key that is not present in the dictionary this get method does not raise any error so to add to explain you clearly i will take the same example details here so i will paste here so that we can able to see all the things in here itself right so i am taking this details dictionary let's say details dot get so by using this dictionary dot get we can able to get the values by mentioning the key here so let's say if i mention age here and if i execute this we are able to getting this 22 so by mentioning the key using this get method we can able to get the value let's say if i wanted to access name here so we need to mention dictionary name so we need to call this get method and we need to mention name here so now if i execute this we can able to see the result we are getting the value which is nothing but mahesh associated with this name let's say if i try to access let's say city here so city is not present in the dictionary right but still i am assuming that city is present in the dictionary so now if i execute this so this cell is not this cell is executed you can see the result here but still we are not getting anything so i will execute one more time here the cell is executed but we are not getting any result so that is what the functionality of this particular get method so whenever you are calling this get method by passing any one of the key so if the key is present you will get the result value if the key is not present you will get nothing so here you can see we are not getting anything because this key city is does not present in the dictionary so i hope you can able to understand whenever you wanted to execute but still if the key is not present in the dictionary if you wanted to raise any error you can use this index operations or otherwise if you don't want to get any error in such case you need to use this get method 
So I hope you can able to understand the difference and I hope you can able to use these methods whenever you need it. So those are the two approaches that we can able to access the values by mentioning keys. So there is one more approach that we can use which is nothing but set default. So this set default have its own uniqueness. So let us go ahead and understand what this set default uniqueness. So I am taking the same example which is details here. So in this details we are having name, age and gender. So from the beginning we are discussing right. So now let's say if I wanted to access so I will explain what is the functionality of this particular set default. First we will execute with some examples right. So I am using this set default. So if I pass name here. So what I am doing I am passing name. So and I am also passing let's say here if I wanted to mention the name so here is the thing so in this method we need to mention the key and the value so if the key is present we will get the result of the dictionary value if the key is not present we will get this dictionary is updated with new key value pair. So I hope you can able to understand but still I will explain with some examples. So here I am mentioning name here. So previously in this dictionary what we have we have the name key and the value which is Mahesh here. So let's say if I replace this Mahesh if I wanted to use Suresh here. So I am having previously Mahesh and later when I am using this set default I am using name key and I am mentioning Suresh here. So now if I execute this we are getting the result which is nothing but Mahesh here because the key name is already present in the details dictionary because of that reason whenever you are calling this set default by using a key value pair you are getting the value that is already present in the dictionary. So I hope you can able to understand that. Let's say if I wanted to so set default if I wanted to access this age and if this age is not present what we need to do I wanted to do an updation with 33 and if I execute this we are getting 22 because this 22 is already present in the dictionary because of that reason only we are getting 22. So understand carefully here it is very important let's say I am taking the same dictionary and here I am mentioning set default so here in this dictionary we don't have any so we don't have any city right so now if I mention city here and if I execute and if I pass let's say city is so instead of city what I will be doing is that I will take country here. I will take a country and what I will be doing is that I will pass the country which is nothing but India here. So I am taking country as a key and I am passing India as a value. So before going to execute this so what I will be doing is that I will make you understand what values we have in details here. So I am printing this details here. So previously we have name, age and gender right. So I am executing this. So after that also I will be printing this. So I am taking understand carefully why I'm, there is a specific reason why I am doing all of these things. So even after executing this set default name with Suresh but still we are getting name as Mahesh age and gender right. So Let's say if I execute this set default with age so after that also I will be printing the details dictionary. So still we are getting name age gender with whatever the values that previously we have here right. So now what I will be doing is that I will mention this particular print statement after this particular uh, set default with the country. So now observe carefully I am executing this set default country here I am executing this so this is got executed this is returning the value which is we are passing in the method itself so because this country is not present in the previous dictionary because of that reason we are getting the value from the uh, whatever the value that we are passing so now understand carefully if I execute this details we are getting a new key value pair which is nothing but country and India. So how it is happening is that as I have explained previously whenever this set default key is not present it will create a new key value pairs that whatever we are passing to this set default method. So because of this 
country is not present in the dictionary, it is creating a new key value pair with country and India. That is the reason we are getting this country and India in the dictionary. So previously, when we pause the elements, which we which we pause the elements which are already present, the new elements is not creating or not even updating because those keys are already existing. Because of that reason, the method is returning the existing value. So, but whereas when we are passing a new key value pair, the key is not present in the dictionary, the value which what we are passing that is returned and the dictionary itself got updated with the new key value pair that is what we are passing with this particular set default. So by this explanation, I hope you can able to understand clearly the functionality of this set default. So this will be very useful whenever we wanted to update the set if the key is not present. So here in this case, if I wanted to mention this particular country, so if the country is not present in the dictionary, it will be updated. So if the country is already present, whatever the country value it is having, that will be returned, right? So I hope you can able to understand that. So that's it for this video. I will quickly wrap up what we have discussed in this video. So dictionaries are typically represented with key value pairs. So those are connected as unordered collections, right? Because of that reason, we cannot access the elements using indexing. So we can only access the elements using keys. So when we mention keys, we can able to access the values. So we can access using this index operation. Whenever we pass the key to this index, we can able to get the value. So whenever we are passing any key that is not present in the dictionary, so that will raise a key error. So in order to avoid this, in order to not the get, in order to not get the key error, we need to use this get method. By using this get method, if the key is present, it will return the value. If the key is not present, it won't do anything. So I hope you can able to understand that. So apart from that, we have discussed one of the important method, which is set default. So by using this set default, we will be passing two parameters. One is key and another one is value. If the key is present in the dictionary, the value will be returned whatever the value that is previously present in the dictionary. If the key is not present, it will update with a new key value pair and it will return the whatever the new value that we are assigning. So I hope you can able to understand clearly with this example explanation and example. So that's it for this video and I hope you have found this video interesting and I hope you have understood all the concepts explained in this video. If that is true, hit the like button and comment whatever you think about this video. So in the next video, we will know how to access the keys. So previously, when we are accessing these values by using by mentioning keys, we have mistakenly having with the assumption city is present in this dictionary, we are mentioning city, right? So how to know what are the keys that, that are present in the dictionary and what are the values present in the dictionary? So even key value pairs what are present in the dictionary. So how we can access them? So that we will be seeing in our next video. So thank you for watching this video. To stay updated with my latest videos, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever I upload any video, you will get the notification. Once again, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.